Hi, everybody, and welcome to another weekly connection. And I am laughing right now because I'm inside because it's very cold and rainy. It's like 39 degrees, which is awful to me. I just do not like the cold. So we're inside and we may be for the next couple of videos as well. So because the weather is supposed to continue and be kind of slushy and I don't know what. So freezing. So um, we're going to stay in here. We set up a little studio so I can do the next couple of videos from here. So uh, St. Germain and Lord Katumi have been very patient while we've had all kinds of mic problems, technical problems, but we are here, which has to do with what we want to talk about this week, actually. So it's actually a perfect example. So I'm going to get my Cosmic Aura Spray. Maybe we needed this a few minutes earlier. We got it figured out, though. We figured it out. Our, we're technical masters. You want some, Pat? <laughs> Old people learning new technology is a, is a very um, fun thing. Um, and one you shouldn't take too seriously. So one drop of our Cosmic Thrust Oil, right? And your sale is only on until January 8th, so stock up now. All right, so rub it together. Ready? Okay, good. Get the esters moving. Oh, I love that. Bring it up through your energy field. See how I'm doing better? Oh, my, uh, it's actually not a nerve. It's a disc, but it's getting better, better, better. All right, here we go. I became the patient. 15 second meditation, connecting heaven and earth and protecting you on all sides, which your empathic shield also does. So let's talk about where we are and what's happening. I'm doing a, an hour and a half plus, because I have a feeling I'm going to go over, um, workshop on January 23rd, um, Sunday, 4 o'clock Arizona time or mountain time. So I'll give you all that. So check my website. I'm going to send you out an email about that information so that you can sign up and be part of the workshop. Uh, I'm going to talk about everything that is happening to us now that we've gone through those 40 days of light acceleration. The light acceleration was extremely successful. So all of you, good job. Well done. And we're, we move to the next level now. We have been stuck on that level <sighs> since 2012, I think. So it's been a long run. So what's that, 10 years? So here we are, starting now with um, this accelerated energy. Now, in this energy, and I will talk about this in more detail in the workshop, because these are short little ditties. You, what is happening is that the old distorted paradigm, the, the grossness of humanity and all the things that have been done throughout the ages has shifted. And it has shifted through a couple of things. The chakra system, the aura system, has gone from the 7 to the 12. Many star children already had 12, but now they are on full tilt. All right? They're fully, fully activated, full mature size. So now the influx of light coming into your body has increased. So there's a lot to know about, about what is going on as a result of that. So that was St. Germain. So anyway, um, what we are doing is getting used to these light bodies. Now here's what happens when you have an acceleration of light. All the old stuff that doesn't serve you has to be shucked off. So you may be going through since the 2021 ascension, which was, by the way, quite phenomenal. Um, there were 11 sunspots on the planet, three hit Earth in the nose, and we have been in a cosmic storm from some other or whatever is happening um, with the sun since 1221. So it's not going to stop in the next week. It's going to continue. And that acceleration of those particles hitting us is part of this accelerated light force that's going on. So enjoy the ride right now. And what it is doing is shaking your stuff loose that is stuck in the corners 
or that you have been suppressing. Pat and I were just talking about earlier about how that is affecting us. And we can really see lucidly, you know, those issues and how maybe we need to up the ante on our reactions or no reaction, whatever is needed here. So you're going to find that some of these things that are suppressed coming out, and I don't mean, you know, you don't have to have, you know, a big drawn out fight or get upset or get angry. You want to be lucid about this. You want to be observing yourself in your life, in your body, and then know how to adjust and change or sweep. You know, in our case, it was just a matter of sweeping the deck. Okay, that is an old paradigm. We're not going to follow that anymore, right? So that's all we're doing. So all of these old distorted paradigms you are going to start to be working on. And by the time I see you at the workshop on the 23rd, you'll have done all your dusting and cleaning and we can move to the next level. So these videos that we're going to have in the next few weeks are about that dusting and cleaning that we so desperately need. So this is our focus, our focus. And we want to focus on accelerating those light patterns in our body and I'll give you a meditation at the workshop that we'll do in depth about all of what's going on with that. So your job is to sweep, dust and clean. Any little thing that you have suppressed needs to, needs to be changed. You can't have that suppression in there and then move forward. It's, a, it's, a, it's an energy disturbance. And so you want all those things. And a lot of that stuff is stuck there because of the old paradigm of 3D interactions with other people, with humanity, with, in relationship, whatever. But it's our 3D paradigm. And so that 3D paradigm needs to be shifted upward because that no longer works. So all of these old paradigms are going to fall apart. So you're going to recognize and see these things more than you may have normally. And that is okay. You're not like, oh, I didn't make it because now I'm having these negative thoughts or negative experiences. No, those, that negativity is actually your alarm button to say, sweep me out of the way. So don't get uptight or upset at yourself if you're having these feelings like, why do I do that? Or why is that like that? Right? Because that's a paradigm that needs to be swept away. So anything and everything that doesn't serve you in this new light must go. And you will do that. It will take the next several weeks. So I'll be coaching you. We'll be going through it with St. Germain and Lord Katumi, who are mainly helping us St. Germain because he is our patron of moving forward to 5D and Lord Katumi because of his obsessiveness with shifting the sacral chakra into higher paradigms, into higher realities. No more character development, ego-driven uh, cha-cha, right? So that's our job. That's what we're working on right now. So don't be hard on yourself. Just flow with it and go, aha, there it is. That's what I'm working on right now. All right. And next time I'll talk to you more about how that's affecting in our different chakras and auras as well. So let's do it. Let's bring that light coming from source. See, I can almost get my arm up. Coming from source, moving down the front, that very yummy gold light that comes down all the way down and out our feet into the earth. Now, as we grab on, we're grabbing on with 12 lights, not seven, around the toes. And the mother has increased her vibration as well. So get a moment and feel that energy from the mother. How her, it's like a zzzz, and how it's accelerated. And just feel that. And then feel the energy of her coming up your spine. And as that energy is coming up the spine, it's activating 12 chakras now, all the way up, off the top of your head, and then back down the front. And we're going to orbit just like that. Feel how much stronger your tether is now. Feel how much stronger that is getting 
as we are shifting and moving into these light beings. This is going to help you move the dust out of the corners just doing that one part of this meditation in the orbit because that is going to help you get that spine stronger, get those chakras stronger and clearer. You know, in the chakra kit, the chakras go clockwise in a week, but that's just the starting point because opening them means that now you've done your housework. Now let's learn and grow and expand. So that's where you are right now. Good. So we bring it up and down. And then we bring it up with the mother in it and how happy she is. <laughs> and out the top of your head like a waterfall. Good. And it hits the first aura. And this is your genetic makeup of humanity in 3D. We are now going to shift out of that 3D energy to 5. And moving out into the sacral chakra, where we let all this old paradigm just float away. Just blow it away in the wind. Anything. Just let it go. And know that you will now react from a 5D vibration. And the solar plexus, where your power center doesn't show ego, but shows love. Remember, as an empath, you may reflect another's ego, and that may be something that you reflect for dusting and cleaning. So let's do that and radiate that energy of love through the heart. More love. Douse it. That's the vibration you put all around you and you radiate. And then in your throat chakra, you are self-assured, self-loved and expressing that love and that light in everything you do and think and say. And then the third eye, where we're going to absolutely put that confidence forward that we are the light seeds, the star children of planet Earth that have been sent here. Not every star child is doing their job right now. Some star children got lost in the 3D mire. So we want to make sure as light seeds that we radiate that light out so that they can once again find themselves in light. This is the time for that. And then from the third eye to your crown. And that crown chakra radiates out. Now you notice we only did the seven chakras because the 12 are contained within the seven. But next time I'll do a 12 chakra for you. All right. So then we radiate that out 18 inches. So we wear that golden foil on our aura. And we reflect that image of love and light. We allow people to see their 3D consciousness that they can shift it. And that we can learn and grow from that as well. We are becoming more empathic. And so we see more things, we understand more things in the world of 3D humanity and understand how that needs to shift to 5D. And the how, by the way, is right here, through your heart, through your heart center. So radiate that light out and let anyone and everyone munch on that light because it gives you stamina, helps you on your journey and gets us through all of this. I remember you're doing a great job. Are you done? No. But at least we're not bored. <laughs> All right. So I will see you again. I want you to practice this and understand when you do that, just know, drench yourself with light, get your orbit on and get out of the crazies. Don't let it draw you to 3D. Let it move you out that you know that it's dusting and cleaning time. All right? Good. So I will see you with these two and many others next week. Have fun. And watch for that email from Chakra Life about the workshop. I love you. Bye-bye.